Hey guys, welcome to Protocol Dash Point. Okay, so in this further tutorial, we're gonna validate a password field so that a user should enter a password in such a way that a password string should contain a capital letter, a small letter, a number, and a special character. Okay, so here I have created a simple demo app for you. Okay, so here I will just enter a password. So I'm just entering my name and hitting the sub sign up button. So you can see a validation is been applied and the user cannot submit the form and here it is saying me to enter a capital letter a small letter and a number and a special character okay so let's enter a number and hit the button so it is still not valid because it has a capital letter small letter a number but do not have a special uh, character okay so let's add a special character to this and hit this button again so now you can see it is valid okay so let's go to our android studio to implement this so now we are in our android studio and here i have created a new flutter project and for now it simply have a empty container and nothing else so here we are going to just call this home page so in home page we simply have a empty container so we are going to build the ui from here so first of all we need a text field and a button so let's do that so first of all let me replace this with a scaffold widget so that I can add a body to our app so body tag so inside body tag we will have a column widget so that I can add text field and a button in it children so here I will just add two uh, widgets that is text field and a button so first of all let me take this column widget at the center of my screen Okay, and make this column widget as main access alignment to center so that all the widget that I enter in this column widget will come at the center of my screen uh, so here let me add a elevated button so that a user can submit the form okay and let's name this button with text widget submit form okay so on top of this button I want a text field so let me add a text form field okay so let's decorate this text field with some borders borders okay so decorate input decoration border outline border and let's give a hint so that the user can understand that he should enter a password in this field okay okay so now I want to validate this text field so for that there is a property in this text field that is validator which will uh, contain the value that the user has entered the password that the user has entered okay so here uh, to activate this text field validator I must add a uh, global key form okay so for that let me create a global uh, form state so final form key global key which will be of type Uh, form state okay so now I want to make use of this key to detect the validation in this text field so for that I want must make use of a widget called as form so I need to just wrap this column widget with one more widget that is form widget so form okay so this is the widget and I need to attach this key to this form okay so let's do that key is equal to form key okay so now I can validate this text field by making use of this form key okay so let's do that so over here in this button so when the user press on this submit button I need to validate so for that form key dot current state dot validate okay so whenever the user will click on this button this form will get called and it will check 
the form validation and it will automatically check the validator the user has entered so uh, this basically will call this text field validator when button is been pressed okay so let's check okay so now for now i will just print a message that the user has entered on my console okay so the app is running on my device and now here you can see a user can enter a message and when i press on this submit button so you can see the validator is been called and it is printing the user entered value over here okay so now i need to perform a validation over here to check if a you if a user entered value contains a number a small letter a capital letter and a special symbol okay so let's do it from here okay so first of all we must check if the password field is empty so for that if value dot is empty then do this so here we will just return a message saying uh, please enter a password okay so hot refresh so let's check okay so i'm just clicking on submit button so you can see please enter a password okay else okay so in this else statement we are going to check if a password contains a capital letter a small letter a number and a special character okay so these are the regular expression we are going to create so in this else statement we are going to call a function that will check if our password is valid or no it contains the required characters or no okay so let's call a function from here okay so first of all let me uh, create a function to check a password here so here i must define a regular expression so which i have already created so i will just copy paste it okay so this is the regular expression that will check if our character contains a number a, a small letter a, a capital letter and a special character or no okay so now let's create a function boolean validate password so it will accept a parameter which is of type string okay so i need to trim this password so for that here string password is equal to pass dot trim okay so now here if password validator dot has match with the your password that the user has entered that is this password then validate the data else return false okay so return false else return true okay so let me explain you what is happening so this is the regular expression that is required so this regular expression accepts a integer a small letter a to z a capital letter and a special character okay so here we are going to check if our password contains all these characters or no and depending on it we are going to pass a boolean as true or false so this function will basically returns true if it match else false okay so let's call this function in the validator over here okay so boolean result is equal to validate password and here we are going to pass the value that the user has entered so this is the value that we are going to pass okay so this result will either contain true or false okay so for that if result is true then do this else do this 
okay so in else we are going to pass a message to the user saying the password should contain a capital small a number and special character okay so this is the message we are going to pass and if it is true we are going to perform a action that we are going to per uh, you, that you can perform a whatever you want you can just submit the form to your server you can just basically if it is valid then you can just perform your creating account event in this else statement okay so now let's check our app by refreshing hot reload okay so app is get uh, okay so it got installed so let me enter so you can see enter a password it is saying so now if i enter a small letters that is will be my password and if i click on submit button so you can see it is showing me an error so it is so as you can see it do not have a capital letter in this string so let's add a capital letter so you can see it is still not valid so now let me add some uh, special character to this so you can see it is valid now okay so you can see this is how we can perform a password validation where we can where we are accepting a password should contain a capital small special character and a number okay so that's all for this video tutorial hope you got the concept of how to validate password in flutter so the complete source code of this tutorial will be in on my website that is protocodespoint.com so you can just get the link in the description uh, thanks for watching please do subscribe protocodespoint thank you